Oh, honestly, I <laughs> guess I'll talk about it because I was being cyberbullied um, by a person on Facebook. I'm not going to tell you any specifics. And in fact, I did say some things that were kind of outlandish and kind of rude. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, this individual um, would start pestering me all hours of the day. Um, I would be hanging out. And he'd start um, yammering at me. I'd have to tell him I live in the mountains. I live in Colorado. Didn't matter to him. He lives in Philadelphia or out east. And he'd get mad at me um, for ignoring him. I mean, this is a kid whose parents probably never taught him that it was rude to wake someone up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Um, so, during quarantine, um, he and I would discuss stuff like, uh, pop culture references, things like that. I was into The Magicians, I was into a lot of anime and Star Wars. He viewed Star Wars as toxic. He wanted me to stop liking it, which I refused. Um, I was playing Final Fantasy XIV. He wanted me to drop that and play Arkham. I don't like violent video games. I'm sorry. No offense to anyone who likes Mark Hamill. He's a great guy. I love him. But I can't play that game. <laughs> it's just not my style. Um, after I told him that a hundred times, uh, still wouldn't stop. He'd post annoying things about Goku versus whatever, Batman versus whatever, Superman versus whatever. And he would pretty much... I unfollowed some of the stuff he was talking about, which pissed him off a little bit. Um, he started annoying the hell out of me over over stuff that really wasn't any of his business. Um, he got on me for liking The Magicians, which is a show I like, and um, Sword Art Online, which again, is something I like. But since he didn't like it, he expected me not to like it. Um, he is supposedly 21 or thereabouts. I try to be, you know, the supportive person I am. I was supposed to be nice to him. I tried to be nice to him. He treated me like, well, like crap. Like, not a good friend. The thing that tipped me off is what he had told me is he had found one of the bullies from his school and he messaged him, called him a bunch of names, and the, the kid who responded was, what are you, 12? Get over this. Well, yeah, you can't get over being bullied. That, that's a fact. You can't get over it. But what he did is exactly what I've been avoiding doing to my bullies. I don't like talking to them. I don't like being in the same room as them. I would never do that to them. Because I have better things to do than chased down a girl by the name of Shafali who used to bully my sister. Um, I have better things to do than uh, do that to her. After all, karma, karma will get her eventually. Same with a bunch of other people that used to pick on me as a kid. Most of them, karma's already played a joke on them. So I don't, I don't want to do it. But to Sage, he demanded it. I went out and did my own thing, which pissed him off. Um, I did nature photography, which, by the way, that's what I do. I'm out here right now doing this. <laughs> Going out and taking pictures of my neighborhood parks and stuff. That's what I do during quarantine. I can't go to conventions, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I make do with what I got. And that's going out getting exercise, losing weight, which by the way, I'm from, I went from 210 to almost 190, 98 because of this quarantine. And it's all thanks to the, the fact I can walk around. But what happened next is yes, I called him out. I called him out for all the crap he did to me, but somehow I'm the bad guy. 
So I may someone posted on there on a group about um, forcing women to take classes in parenting and homemaking, which was a for a thing back in the 1940s to or uh, 1900s to 1950s, and yeah, that was a college course that was required for women going to college. Well, I pulled my usual snarkiness and said I would demand to be removed from the class because I don't feel the necessity. I don't think a person with my abilities should be taking classes on how to take care of a baby if I'm never going to have one. And people got mad at me about it, but honestly, that was a fact. Not everybody's cut out to be a parent. Um, unfortunately for Sage, he got mad at me thinking it was an attack against him. I'm learning disabled. And I don't think I'm cut out to be a parent. No way. There's no way in hell I can ever do that. <laughs> my mom had a hard enough time raising me and my sister. And my sister was normal. I was the dumb one. <laughs> I was the one in special ed. So you can see where that goes. But what happens is... I reported it to the admin that Sage was sending me messages, which she wasn't supposed to, and violating my privacy. So I had to go into Facebook itself in their messenger and turn off, uh, what was it, the uh, requests um, to get um, messages. Unless you're a friend of mine, you can't message me on Facebook at all. Um, some people think that's not fair, but honestly, this is what cyberbullying does to you. Sage makes me feel so unsafe on Facebook. I had to move to a different platform called MeWe, which by the way is very much different, has a different personality altogether, it is a lot safer and a lot less um, draconian in some of the rules. But I can put on what I want, but not any stuff that I deem not necessary. I can post my artwork. I can do that. With Sage around, oh, hell, I couldn't even post half of my videos or half of my artwork, much less half of my um, photography, because it would offend him. Unless it was pop culture, like Batman or Marvel or whatever, the kid would go off at me. For everything. I couldn't even watch one episode of The Magicians without him complaining that I should be paying attention to him. And that was the final season of the damn show. Of the, da of the damn show. That was the final season. I was just like, okay, you guys are freaking... you got to be kidding me. Sage, I'm watching something. Well, I need to talk to you. Can I message you? Can I do this? I mean, literally, he would voice chat my ear off about stuff I didn't care about. Um, he'd flip-flop. That, that's the worst one. Flip-flop. He'd either say, I like Star Wars, or he'll flip-flop and say, I hate Star Wars. I mean, this is a kid, for God's sakes, who uses autism as a reason to be a bully. And he expected me to drop my hobbies, my tastes, to cater to his. That was it. I was done. I was finished. The cyberbullying will continue, no matter what I do. If I go back to Facebook, which, by the way, I'm doing a 30-day I'm not there anymore type of thing where I'm not going to be on Facebook that much. And I'm going to see what happens because I'm going to be on MeWe the whole time if people want to watch that. If you want to continue watching my videos on uh, playing video games and me screwing up royally, go right ahead. My friends on Elder Scrolls are expecting me this today on Friday, today, 
So I'm probably going to be on that. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> so that's, that's my story time. I'm sorry it took 10 minutes to explain what was going on, why I haven't been doing videos like this. And I had to learn a whole new platform of how to post videos. I think my friend Sherry does a better job. Shout out to Apricot Tiny Home. So, yeah. Again, um, I probably try, I probably might try and do some nature videos for you guys of some of my photography adventures, but that's just me. All right, I'll talk to you later.